Dual screen, oh. Oh boy, it works. Hey everyone, so I'm super excited. I just got early access to the split screen multi-display app uh, that a couple indie developers that I've been following on Twitter, X, whatever, they just sent over the test flight, so I'm going to install it. Uh, you do actually need to install a similar application for your Mac. And if I open up uh, split screen here, I should see it right here. There we go, split screen. And nothing actually pops up ex except for when you first install it. You have to just give it uh, a couple permissions. And then it's just this little icon up here at the top. Right now I see no Vision Pro found. Let's go ahead and open it up here. All right, what to test? When using Mac Virtual together, you should be able to use your mouse across both windows. All right, let's start testing here. Would like to find, absolutely. Hit allow, close out of that. Waiting to connect. So now let's see if we can see, yep, there's our Apple Vision Pro right there. And then I can see one of my <laughs> old desktop backgrounds. Now is this like a normal, can I go into my displays? And I have a virtual display. Now if I do a range here, okay. So it's not correctly labeled. All right, so it thinks it's to my left. So just for ease, I'll put it there. Now I know what everyone's wondering. So I think this is my screen here, it's 1440p. It looks like this is default 1080, which is fine. That's fine to start out with. So now can I do dual screen? Oh, oh boy, it works. Now what's funny is the mouse, all right, so it treats it like an iPad almost. So I, when I'm over here, I have my regular mouse. And then when I'm over here, but everything fully interacts. So I can click on this source right here. And if I Make sure play it over here. All right, what if something a little hard? So if I grab a title here and I want to scroll through. Sure, let's say I want that title. Can I, can I drag it over? No! No! Oh, 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 it wants to! It wants to. Oh, I can. Okay, I just bugged out for a second. Keep in mind, guys, this is early access, super beta. Uh, I believe there's not too many people who have this beta yet. So excuse like the bugs and stuff like this. This is what we're here for. This is this is exciting. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, this is the direction we want to go. Right now, you can only do a, uh, a singular external display. But I saw in the, uh, they kind of have a roadmap. I don't know if I can bring it up again for you guys to see. Yeah, roadmap right here. So right now, uh, everyone has a roadmap and a bunch of people are kind of voting. You can see the dark blues are my votes. So create more than one external display. That's basically the top voted one. I'm sure everyone would love to see like three or four. Um, and then it's a lot of resolution stuff. I would love to see a higher res option than 1080. Uh, but this, this is awesome. This is a great start. I'm sure I'm not the only one curious free time remaining. Uh, I'm guessing this is gonna go to a payment thing, remove. Do I have to use my mouse? No, right? During test flight, this app purchases free, you'll not be charged. I'm guessing this is how it'll look like to people, which I think is cool. You basically get five minutes to test out, will it work for the programs you want? Um, and you know, will, will this work in the scenario that you want it to? And then after that, you're gonna have to pay for it. Now I'm curious during this test flight, if after 30 seconds, is this gonna like close down and that's all I get? Or will it just kind of go for infinity uh, while we're on the test flight here? But this is great. And okay, now see I have a normal mouse. I change wallpaper. Okay, so unlock. Yeah, sure, I would love to accept. Okay, so do I just need to close this? And then can I just restart it? Maybe, all right, and I have it back. Okay, so it looks like currently for the very early uh, test flight phase, it only works for five minutes at a time. I'm guessing they're working hard to add in either the ability to purchase or maybe remove that for test light beta users. But I am so stoked. What do you guys think about this first experience with two Mac monitors inside Apple Vision Pro? This is incredible. Thank you so much to the developers for uh, sharing this with me. And I can't wait to see updates for it.
If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the Apple Vision experience right up there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.